So here's what we got, guys. If you look, all the studs broke off. This one here looks like it's been broke for a while, so I'm thinking that's probably what happened. Just hanging on by a, by a thread. Well, I guess we can say we drove her till the wheels fell off the fucker anyways. So, yeah, that's handy. But I guess we'll have to uh, get some parts in the city tomorrow and then uh, go from there. So, anyway, that's about it for now. Till we get some parts, we got to get ripped apart tonight, maybe. See what we can find and uh, go from there. But we got to let it warm up quite a bit because it's uh, cold steel. So, we'll get her figured out. So, anyway, I guess we'll see you then, anyway. Good enough, anyway. Anyway, that's what we're doing, so once we get this off, we'll bring you back. Okay, we got the dust cap, oil fill cap, whatever you want to call it, it's off. Uh, took the big nut off, put the chisel, and all the retaining locker. So that goes like that. Okay, now this guy sure what that does but it looks like it threads on too so we will uh, get this up next okay we got the uh, locking nut off and all the bearing and hopefully the hub will come off without too much fucking around so we're gonna try that next so we'll see you in a bit again okay we got it off the inside bearing can stay in, the bearings are fine. Um, I think they've been redone according to the guy that we bought it from. So, anyways, uh, everything's good in here. Brakes are still good, so we're not going to bother with that. So, all we got to do is uh, fucking pop these bolts out. A little hard to see, but it's the bolts here that go inside that broke off. I think they just loosened off and then this wore. Or something, or maybe the rim's cracked. They haven't really. The rim is full of snow still. As you can see. 
Film this rim here. There's some fuckers that are loose. Anyway, there was two that were loose on here before. Now, so there's a nut and a thimble. So here's the, <clears throat> here's what it is. This goes in through the hub, like that. Then this goes on here, and that tightens your, uh, that tightens your first set of, uh, tightens your first set of, uh, first set of rim in between your rim and your hub. And then when you put your second rim on, then you use this nut to tighten it on. It's fucking stupid. But anyways, we will punch some more out and bring you back. Holy fuck, boys. She's getting tight. I think I got the torch because I got... What have I got left? Three. But they are fucking in there. Holy mother. Uh, I got new parts today. In the bag there. New nut and thimble and whatever. I'll show you that some other time. But I've been on the phone here all freaking night. So I want to uh, try and get this done before morning, I guess. And then I'm going to try to get the bolts back in and then I can put the hub back on but I'll have to let it cool or I'll melt my seal and, and whatever else so if I haven't done that already so we'll see how that goes but I guess a guy should keep at it here so we'll talk to you in a bit okay boys we got them all out anyway that was kind of tiring but Anyway, just beat the shit out of them with a fucking hammer. There was a few of them I was lucky I had a little bit of a nub. Like my finger. Give them the fucking beats. And uh, popped them down a little wee bit just to break that. Or those splines or whatever the hell you call them. Oh, I'll sit on my little pail here for a minute. I'll show you one of these bolts. A good bolt. Uh, like this. So it's got these little splines or gear or whatever. Not gears, but you know what the fuck this shit here. Anyway, that's what holds that inside there. So I'm hoping, like this will sit down here. So I hope I got the right bolts. Probably not, but whatever. We'll see how she goes. So that's what I just kept heating around here. Each one. And uh, like I said, there's a little wee nub about that much maybe sticking up with some of them and after I heated it I use this however big this hammer is three pound sledge and uh, beat them down like that and got them broke loose then I wasn't so bad and then I hit my fucking hand once so that really pissed the guy off so then we uh, put the old face grips on the punch and uh, That worked out pretty good and we ended up getting them through so anyway I guess I'll leave that cool off because I gotta flip it onto the side and uh, piss around with that so that sounds like fun but it's some of them were just red hot here a few minutes ago so I will probably just leave it like that for tonight and then maybe get these uh uh, studs and thimbles on maybe so I'll show you what this looks like so here's the new ones and so this bolt goes up through here through the hole like that and then this holds on so then that inside tire right here goes on and then you use these to hold on the inside tire to here and then you screw that down and you put on these big nuts these nuts these nuts and these thread onto here then after but if you never use these pieces of shit before 
I do have uh, my one neighbor give me his uh, socket last year because I fucking lost a tire on my uh, actually never lost a tire I had a flat tire on my old gourd one ton truck and I never had the right socket so I ended up making a socket actually and uh, this is the one they give me so if you look inside there there's that square piece that square piece um, threads on to the thimble I guess what you call it so that's what I got to do so I'm probably gonna have to suck them fuckers through with the thimble and then go from there and the next thing I got to do is get rid of these these are all the broken studs see if you look here now that the snow's melted off there was too loose this one not see look at that so that's fucking shitty that's probably why I lost that tire not be the outside tire so anyway talk to you in a bit so anyway guys like I got sidetracked with a bunch of Instagram stuff tonight I was talking to the old buddy, uh, um, Tyson, and he was telling me that somebody stole his picture. That dirty bastards. I mean, come on. And then Kai Farmer Man started a group chat, and Nick sent a bunch of stuff, and then my fucking phone quit, and I thought, oh my God, what the hell is going on here? So anyway... I skipped a few steps, and I don't want to wait for you guys, so I got the studs all in, the thimbles are on the bolt, the studs, so now I got to take off the studs, or the thimbles off the studs, and we'll mount this hub back onto the, uh, onto the axle here, so I think this is going to be a long video by the time I get this done, but whatever, if you want to stop watching, stop watching, I don't care, so anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, let's unplug my phone here, how to charge it. So anyway, you like that when I say that, eh? Anyway, so we got, oh, shit. There we go. Okay, so I got the new hub cover on. The other one broke this uh, little plastic deal here, so I thought, piss around and Broke all these uh, bolts out, and I would have had to try to get all them out and said piss on it. So, I just bought a new one and put it on, but the seal that's in there, that little gasket, is leaking. So, I'm going to have to silicone that tomorrow. I kind of thought that was going to happen. I tried to skip a step, and that's what happens. So, I'll just let her leak into the pail with the spare broken bolts. Um... So tomorrow, we need to take all of these off now. If I can, I can't even get them off. But anyways, there's a loose one. So I got to take all these off and then put that wheel on first. But I'll show you tomorrow anyway. It's enough for one day. So that's going to be fun. Trying to get these tires on. I also have to cut them bolts out of there yet i'll probably just use a torch or the plasma cut or something anyways if i can uh cut from the inside i'll cut the nuts off cut your fucking nuts off from here i'll just torch them off and then uh be able to push the studs back through so that'll save me a few steps but so that's the outside rim and that's the inside rim but when i fucking uh lost my tires I'm going to have to buy new tires for here now. Look at the chunks out of there. I just noticed that when I was walking around. So when I was loaded going down the road, this frame right up here. Let's see if I can hold this at the same time. This frame right here was rubbing against these tires. So it took a couple chunks out of it. So that's good. But I think I'm going to... Try and find uh, some recaps for my semi. And then the ones that are on there will fit on these rims. So that'll be nice. And then I can uh, take my semi tires off, the used ones, and put them on here. 
So that's the plan, I guess. But for now, that's good enough for tonight. Like I say, I'll let that leak all out until it's empty, and that way tomorrow I'm not bathing in gear oil, because that fucking stinks. So, anyway, I gotta get some hay for the barn. And, uh, I guess we'll see you in the morning then. Hey guys! How are we this morning? I've been out here for a while already, but... Um... So I got it filled with oil to the fill line, but I think I might have to add a bit more because the side of this axle was hanging down a bit. So I'm gonna have to put some more oil in there once I get to get it jacked up. I got my little bottle jack. So we're gonna jack this axle up and uh, try to get these tires on. That's the next thing. Oh yeah, so I've re-siliconed or whatever. There is a gasket in between here. The uh, oil seal cover and the sight glass deal and the hub there was a gasket but it was leaking as you seen from the other clip there but i got it all together this morning and put some more oil in it and it seems to be on the fill mark right now but like i say once i get her jacked up it might be a different story so anyway i gotta fucking get her up level and zing these guys off these uh thimbles and then uh we can get that inside tire on, I guess. And I still got to cut off the nuts on that other tire because the studs are still broke on there. So what happened was all of these, this plus the nut is on uh, the other rim. So it's uh, bust off here where these all broke off. So these are on that other rim with the nuts. So that's why that's like that, but it's kind of a stupid setup, but anyway. So I will get her jacked up and uh, try to get her high enough I can get some tires on it. So I guess we'll see you in a bit here. Okay, so I just about skipped a step on you guys. So anyway, so these, now the studs are sticking out here. So inside of these thimbles, focus, it's like this. So then now these go on here, try and fucking start her up there with the old shitty hand and not now these will center this rim and hold the inside studs on and tighten this rim against the hub so each each rim is tightened separate so whatever so all she goes now you look at the oil level here it's low away eh? so we're gonna have to put some more in there but i'm gonna check them all that it's in here i think they're good but you never know so I'll get these zing zanged on and then we'll cut those nuts off that one. And uh, yeah, we'll start over. I'm gonna get that one on top of here and away we go. So we'll see you in a bit. Boys, well, <clears throat> I had a bit of a fuck up here. Of course. You probably just were waiting for that, eh? Anyways, um, Where's that socket? So, what I'd done, I fucked up when I bought the thimbles, and I'm not about to take it apart. So, <clears throat> anyways, these are too long for the socket. So, what's happening is the nut's getting on so far, see? And then the socket's grabbing this thimble now. So I gotta make a uh, deep socket. So that's what I'm up to. Oh shit, what are you doing? You say, well, I don't really know. But, I know I'm wrecking a socket. I got an inch and a half socket. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Holy focus, you piece of shit. There we go. So I'm gonna cut this in half. From here, and then this piece, and I'm gonna stick a chunk of pipe Stick a chunk of pipe between this piece and this piece, weld it in, make myself a deep socket. So I'm not going to town, I don't have my truck plugged in. My wife's got the other one that was in the garage, so good enough. I'll see you in a bit then, I'll keep giving her here. I was going to jump ahead and weld her up right away, but anyway, this is what I got here. So now I got a deep socket right here. 
And it's half painted already, so that's nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna weld her up here and then uh, we can go tighten those nuts. We'll see you in a bit then. There we go. Got her done. She's a little smoky, but that's good. So now, we will let that cool off and then I can go back and uh, tighten those nuts. Hope I didn't uh, cut the wrong socket. I think it's inch and a half, so. Anyway, we'll get back to her after lunch here. We're just about done, so get the socket cooled off and uh, get her back on here and tighten her up and then we'll check the rest of these hubs make sure they're full of oil I gotta tighten that brake pot back up tighten the slack adjuster and but I gotta release the air with it so anyway guess we'll see you here in a bit then well I forgot to end my video because we got uh, sidetracked and feeding cows there the other day but I'll take you out I'm blistery cold here and I'm gonna show you our fix on this hub here so so there it is all new studs everything new hub cap oils right full where it's supposed to be and uh, she's ready to haul some grain here when it warms up Tried starting the truck the other day and I fucking gave up. It's turning over slow and I thought, you know what? Piss on it, I don't need to haul grain that bad. Well, I do, but not about to wreck something because uh, somebody wants grain or whatever, so piss on it. But anyways, sorry for the shakiness, I had to get my glove off. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and uh, leave a comment, fellers. And we'll talk to you in the next one.